Okay guys, so I just found out that my uh, 2015 Samsung 4K TV got an update uh, that allowed it to have PlayStation Now installed. So what it is, is a subscription based service that lets you play PS3 games uh, from the internet without the need of a console, which I think is pretty damn cool. And for that, uh, you're only going to need one of these puppies. You're going to need a DualShock 4 controller and your 2015 Samsung um, 4K TV. It also works with Sony TVs uh, 2015 and newer. So, I'm first going to show you how to pair your uh, DualShock 4 controller with your Samsung TV. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of what it is to run uh, PlayStation Now on your TV. So, oh, it's important to note it, to note that uh, you're gonna need a pretty fast internet connection for this. Otherwise, your input lag is gonna be too noticeable, especially in shooters and action-packed games and all, all that kind of stuff. So, make sure you have those three thing, three things. You have your 2015 um, Samsung or Sony 4K uh, TV you have fast enough um, internet connection and you have one of these guys okay so let's pair this DualShock 4 controller with with our TV now it's pretty simple you just want to go into your menu right here and then system and then um, the device manager. So then you go into Bluetooth gamepad settings and you're gonna wanna press the, both the uh, PlayStation and share button on your controller, which is kinda tricky for me because I'm holding my phone in one hand. There it is. So then you're gonna click on your remote and pair and connect and there it is it should have connected and now you can control your tv as well with your remote which i think is pretty cool so now let's go into playstation now uh you are going to need a subscri subscription for this but right now i'm not paying for anything uh, there's a seven day trial you only have to um add a credit card into your account and after that, it's going to be $19 per month, which is pretty hefty, but there's other options like rent available. So let me show you what it is right now. Sorry if it's kind of shaky. I'm just holding my phone with my hands because I don't have a tripod. This is actually my first YouTube video. So... But I'm pretty excited about this and I just wanted to share share with you guys. It's, it takes a while the first time you run it, so. There it is. So, now you can run a connection test to make sure your um, internet is fast enough. Let's do that first. Uh, my connection is 100 uh, megabits per second. I'm using Wi-Fi though. It is better and it is recommended to use a wired connection. So once it pass, passes, then you want to go to and find a game. So I've tried two uh, so far. Let's go play The Last of Us. Great game. It does take a while to load, um, but I think the um, input lag and other considerations are just great. You, you really do not notice any lag when you have a fast enough connection. So let's run it. Oh, apparently it's testing my connection.
and um, it says if your TV has game mode, which is uh, 120 uh, hertz um, rate enabled, you should um, available. You should enable that to to um, to have a better experience. So I just did, I already did that, and now I'm just waiting for it to load. It takes a while, especially the first time you load it, but after that, it should take way less time. There you go. You're already in the game. Let's start a new game so you can see the intro. Well, actually, no. Let's go into my uh, current game so I can show you a little bit of the input lag. Although I'm just using one hand, so it's not going to be the greatest gameplay. Just want to show you how fast it is. It's fast enough so that you can run a first-person shooter, so it should be very good for this kind of game. For any kind of game, for that matter. I'm not going to edit this out so you can have an idea of how long it takes to load. There you go. So, I'm going to show you right now. I think it's fast enough. I don't really notice any any lag at all. Um, and it's just great to be able to have this on your TV. I don't have any console, so just to be able to buy a fifty dollar controller and run um, a library of over two hundred games for a $20 subscription is, I think it's pretty nice. I know uh, it's kinda hefty. Um, it could be better, it could be probably 12 bucks or something. But uh, let's remember this is uh, a beta still. This is still in beta stage. So when it is released to the public, it is, uh, it is public now, but it's still in beta. So when it is out of the beta stage, um, I hope the uh, subscription rate comes down a little bit and we have better and better prices. So thank you for watching, that, that, that is all, this is just a first impressions video and um, just let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions.